activity diagram introduction. So, let us deal with the activity diagram in this session. So, activity diagram is another important diagram in UML to describe the dynamic aspects of the system. We know that in case of UML, we are having multiple diagrams which will discuss and which will deal with the dynamic aspect, the dynamic view of a system. So, the diagrams like your use case diagram, we are having the state chart diagram, we are having sequence diagram, collaboration diagram and this is our activity diagram. So, these diagrams are actually dealing with the dynamic view and dynamic aspect of the system. So, activity diagram is basically a flow chart to represent the flow from one activity to another activity. The activity can be described as an operation of the system. So, what is one activity? It is nothing but one operation of the system. So, that will be denote, that will be denoted by one activity. And this particular activity diagram is nothing but a flow chart, flow chart type. So, this diagram is of flow chart type. The control flow is drawn from one operation to another and this flow can be sequential, branched and concurrent. So, activity diagrams deal with all types of for control by using different elements such as fork, join, etc. So, here you see we are having different kinds of control. The control like your sequential, the control like your this is a branching, this is a sequential control, this is a branching control, the control like your concurrent, swim lane. So, all these controls can be uh, depicted, can be expressed in the form of this activity diagram. So, what is one activity? Activity is nothing but one operation of the system. So, what are the other diagrams which can deal with the dynamic view and dynamic aspect of the system in UML? So, they are nothing but use case diagram, sequence diagram, collaboration diagram and state chart activity diagram. So, what is the what is the main thing in case of activity diagram? It is one kind of flow chart and it deals with the control flow flowing through the activities. So, here we have discussed that what is the activity diagram we have given only the introduction and in the next videos we will be discussing more on this activity diagram. Please watch all of them to have the better understanding and thanks for watching this.